Can a manual grinder keep up with a prosumer level one when grinding for espresso? Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from WholeLatteLove.com. So today I'm going to sift some grinds to compare the grind quality produced by this Rock manual grinder versus a prosumer level Chiato E5P. Now off the bat, let me say this is not a laboratory grade test, but it will give us a good idea of whether the Rock manual grinder produces a quality on par with a Chiato. If you'd like to learn more about either the Rock or the Chiato grinders, there'll be some links up here during this video to in-depth review videos for each of them. So the Rock grinder claims to closely match the grind particle size distribution of espresso grinders like the Barazza Vario. Here's a graph provided by Rock showing particle size distribution of their grinder versus the Vario, as well as a manual Porlex and DeLonghi grinder. Notice how closely the graph matches for the Rock and Vario, and the concentrations of grinds peaking at around 500 microns. Now, I stepped up the challenge a bit using the Chiato E5P instead of the Barazza Vario. The Chiato is a prosumer level espresso specialist. On paper, with a larger 64 millimeter burst set, it should produce an equal or better grind than the Vario. So I'll do the sifting in a minute and share the results, but first how I arrived at the grind from each grinder to sift in the first place. So what I did was dial in each grinder to produce a double shot in 25 seconds using a 17 gram dose. I pulled the shots on the ECM Synchronica, which is one of my favorite prosumer level dual boiler machines. After getting the grind dialed in, I ground again on each, weighed out 17 grams of coffee, and sifted through a 500 micron filter. Now, the sifting took quite a while. What I did initially was capture the grinds on top of a 250 micron screen, sifting for about two minutes. Following that, I sifted each set of grinds over white paper for a few more minutes until the amount of grinds coming through was insignificant. For each set of grinds, I then weighed the amount above 500 microns and below 500, and here are those results. As you can see, the results are very similar between the grinders, with around 15 grams below 500 microns and about 2 grams above 500. Now, my original intention was to also measure the amount of grinds under 250 microns, but I ran into some problems as the 250 micron sieve always clogged rapidly and let very few particles through. Going back to the grind analysis graph provided by Rock, my somewhat unscientific testing confirms their basic results. Now, my starting grind may have been a hair finer than theirs, but the basic particle size distribution is very similar. So what does all this mean? Well, in my opinion, if you are willing to crank it out by hand, the Rock manual grinder can match the grind quality of a prosumer level espresso grinder. But is there a taste difference? Well, use the link up here again to watch our video comparing flavor of shots pulled using grinds from the Rock and a Barazza Vario. As it turned out, they were very similar. You know, you'll hear a lot after the coffee you're using, the grind is the most important factor in producing exceptional espresso. Now, I want to hear from you. Use those comments. Tell us what grinder you're using and your general thoughts on grinding. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe to our channel and come back soon for more of the good stuff on Everything Coffee brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on Everything Coffee brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com.